a short prayer. Are you ready to pray? Okay, let us pray. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Lord, we offer this day all we do, think, and say. Give light to our mind to learn lessons of all kind. Help us to be obedient, truthful, and loving to all. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning, children! Okay, before we continue, let us sing first. Oh, it's science time after all. Ready? Sing! Oh, it's science time after all. 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 Again! Oh, it's science time after all. 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 Okay, you can, you can now take your seats. Is there any absent from this class? None. Since nobody is absent today, let us give ourselves five claps. One, two, three, four, five. Now, before we continue, let us recall what should we do when we have our classes inside our classroom. Number one is be positive and be happy. Number two is be productive and do our exercises and our quizzes. Number three is be prepared. Number four is be respectful of your classmates and teacher. And number five is be participative when we have activities. Do you understand? Okay. Now, before we continue, let us have a short game first. It is called Name an Animal. I will group you into two. This is group one and this is group two. Now, you have to give me one animal that undergoes complete metamorphosis. And the group is eliminated when that group gives an animal that was already given by another group. Do you understand? Okay, so you have to choose your leader first. And the last Group standing wins the game. Group 1, who is your leader? JB. Group 2, Angelito. Okay. Ready? Go. Butterfly. Next. Ants. Next. Fleas. Bees. Beetles. Moths, wasps, oh I'm sorry, butterflies was already given by group 1. That means group 1 wins this game. Anyway, let us give ourselves 5 claps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Now let us observe and examine the following pictures. What animals do you know? Can you name one animal? Fresh shaped. Okay, there is a duck. What else? Chrysame. There is a penguin. What is, what is the last animal? Jasper. There is a chicken as well. So as you can see, there is a duck, a penguin, and a chicken in the picture. Now, I want you to examine the following animals. Do these animals have something in common? Yes, they have something in common. Meron silang katangian na magkapareho. Now, who can give me one characteristic that they that all these animals share? Hazel. They all have wings. What else? JB. They have beaks. Yes, because they are all birds. What else? James, they all have two teeth. What else? Justin Rain, they all lay eggs. Very good. Now let us have a group activity. I will group you into two. This is group one and this is group two. 
Now, I want you to observe and examine three different eggs. This is a raw egg. This is a hard-boiled egg. And this is balut, which is an unfertilized duck egg. Now, every group is given five minutes to observe and examine the three different eggs. And as you observe the eggs, I want you to write your observations on the observation sheet that I will give to you. Do you understand? Okay. Group 1, kindly pass the observation sheets. Thank you. Group 2, kindly pass the observation sheets. Okay. Now, group 1 should examine and observe the following eggs first. You have 5 minutes to complete your activity. Yes, you can, you can touch the eggs, but you, don't, you can't break it. Yes. This is the raw egg. This is the hard-boiled egg and this is balloon. Yes, you can shake the eggs if you want to. But you can break it. Okay, group 1 is already finished. Group 2, you can now examine and observe the eggs. Okay, since all groups are finished, let us give ourselves three claps. One, two, three. Now, choose a reporter that will answer some of my questions here in front. Group one, who is your, your reporter? Stephanie. Group two, Janelle. Okay. Okay, let us begin with group one. Stephanie, please come forward. Stephanie, based from your observations, group one, what features have you observed with the raw egg? What did you notice? Okay, group one said that the raw egg has three parts. What are those parts? The shell, the clear liquid, and the, the yellow part. Well, the yellow part is called yolk. Everybody say yolk. Okay, very good. Now, what do you think is the color of the egg yolk? The egg yolk is color yellow. Very good. Now, let us proceed with the hard-boiled egg. What do you think is the term or the name for the outer covering of the hard-boiled egg? It is called the shell. Very good. Now, is the hard-boiled egg in a liquid or in a solid form? Yes, it is in a solid form. Now, where is the yolk located in the hard-boiled egg? Yes, a gitna. What is the English for gitna? The center. The yolk in the hard-boiled egg is located in the center. Very good. Now, let us proceed with the balloon. What features have you observed with the balloon? It also has three parts, okay? The shell, the liquid inside, and the, the duct, okay? Are there other observations? None. Let us give group one five claps. One, two, three, four, five. Very good, group one. Next, group two. Janelle, please come forward. Okay, Janelle. Based from your observations, group 2, what features have you observed with the raw egg? They have three parts, just like what group 1 said. Okay, those parts are the shell, the clear liquid, and the, the yellow part. What is it called? The egg yolk. Yes. Now, what is the color of the egg yolk? The egg yolk is color yellow. Now let's proceed with the hard-boiled egg. What do you think is the term for the outer covering of the hard-boiled egg? It is called a shell. Now, is the hard-boiled egg in a solid state or in a liquid state? Yes, it is in solid state or 
four. Now, what are your observations with the hard boiled egg? It has a shell. There is a thick white layer and the egg yolk. Now, where is the yolk located in the hard boiled egg? The yolk is located in the center. Very good. Now, let's proceed with the balut. What features have you observed with the balut? It has a shell and it has a liquid inside. Are there other observations? Yes, there is a small dot inside. Now, what do you think is the term for the small dot inside the balloon? Okay, you still don't have any ideas. Anyway, let us give group two five claps. One, two, three, four, five. Now, the balloon is also similar with a, with a chicken egg. Now, using our observations, we can actually tell the stages of development of a chicken or we can already tell the life cycle of a chicken. Now, based from your observations, what do you think is the first stage of a life cycle of a chicken? Yes, Lakisha. The life of a chicken begins with an egg. Very good. What is the next stage? Yes, Jurian. Who can help Jurian? JV. Okay, there is a small duck or small chicken formed inside the egg. What happens after that? Yes, Alray. A small chick is hatched. Very good. What, what happens after that? Janet. The small chick becomes an adult chicken. And what happens after that? Jasper. The chicken lays another egg. And the cycle begins again. Very good. From your observations, you observe an egg and some of its parts, and some of you have already observed that there is a small duck inside the balloon. Now, this activity showed you the egg and its parts and how it develops. Now, an egg has three parts. The first part is the shell, which is the hard out covering of it. The second part is the clear layer or clear liquid called albumin. Everybody say albumin. Again, very good. And the third part of the egg is the yolk. Shell, albumin, yolk. Now let me explain to you briefly how a chicken egg develops. It begins with an adult chicken laying the egg. Next, the egg forms an embryo. That is the unfertilized chicken inside the egg. Now the embryo develops and it hatches as a chick. The chick develops as time went by and becomes an adult chicken. And then the cycle begins once more. Do you understand? Based from this life cycle, what do you call the small duck inside the balloon? Is it an egg, an embryo, a chick, or an adult chicken or duck? It is called an embryo. Very good. Now, I will give you an activity sheet. I want you to write your name on top and read the directions carefully. And you have to encircle the letter of the correct answer. Is that clear? Okay. Group 1, get 1 and pass. Group 2. Group 3. Group 4. Okay. You have 10 minutes to finish the activity sheet. Are you done? Okay. If everybody is finished, 
clap three times. Ready? Go! One, two, three. Before we proceed, kindly collect all activity sheets and give it to me. Group one, thank you. Group two, thank you. Group three, thank you. Group four, thank you. Now, let us check your work. Number one, what is the yellow part inside a chicken egg? A. Mature B. Adult C. Yolk What is the answer, Jasper? Letter C. Yolk Very good. Number two If the egg yolk is yellow, what is the color of the albumin? A. White B. Yellow C. Transparent Hazel Letter C. It is transparent and not white. If you cook the egg, then, it, then the albumin will turn white. But if it's raw, it is transparent. Oh. Number three. Where is the light of the bird originates? A. Egg white. B. Yolk. C. Yellow. Janelle. Letter B. The life of a chicken begins in the yolk of the egg. Number four. What is the outer covering of an egg? A. Shell. B. Bird. C. Mature. Chrysanne. Letter A. It is the shell. Number five. How many parts does a chicken egg have? A. 1 B. 2 C. 3 E. J. Letter C. An egg has three parts. Very good. Now, now for your assignment, I want you to copy this on your science notebooks. On a 1-8 illustration board, you have to make a collage showing the stages of development from your birth until now. Is that clear? Okay, you can now copy this in your science notebooks. Are you all finished writing? Okay, pack your things and let us all stand for our closing prayer. Are you ready to pray? Okay, let us pray. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you, Lord, for guiding us for all the things we've done today. Watch us, Lord, on our way and take us home safely. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Goodbye, children. Hey, guys, and you just watched another episode from the Shudo Demonstration Teaching Series by Chernil at para sa 5 East Lesson Plan. And instructional materials ng video na ito, ilalagay ko ang lahat ng link dito sa description box. At para sa lahat ng mga videos ko tungkol sa DEPED ranking, lesson with tutorials, and other teacher-related stuff, iiwan ko ang lahat ng link dito sa description box. And once again, this is Chernil. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!